so we're going to be playing some Sultai Vanifier pod today. The list has going been pretty good for me. I'm about, I'm about 14 and 3 with it. I've um, had a lot of success. I really enjoy the tutor package it gives me and what it can give you. I think it's a pretty good best of one deck. Uh, I, ha I am 3 and 0 against Mono Red, so hopefully we don't have too many bad matchups or uh, have too many matchups with it that aren't favorable. But let's get started in a constructed event. The uh, deck list will be below if you have any questions or you if you want to see it again. Oops. Uh, it'll work here. There we go. Okay, let's go into game one. So, uh, the ideal starting hand would have a Land War Elf and some mana of both types. Um, this hand's fine. Uh, we do have Walker Walker J Light Ranger, so that this hand's pretty good against Mono Red, which is a concern of this deck. Uh, one of the types of the, uh, one of the decks that this hand probably wouldn't be good against would be Control, but looks like we're against Mono Red. I'm willing to bet. I'll play this Forest here and then go into uh, Walker Earth Walker. Uh, I imagine this is going to get bolted somewhere. How it could be a Wizard's Lightning, could be a Skewer. Uh, if you uh, just plays a Pyromancer, really, that's um, interesting. I feel like that's extremely good for us. Next turn, we can just go Jade Light Ranger with the, off the Woodland Cemetery. Drew another Overgrown Tomb. We've drawn a couple of lands so far. But yeah, we'll just play this Jade Light Ranger, gain six life, explore two. Pretty good. But we drew two more lands. That is actually incredible. Um, We'll attack for. Actually, no attacks. I was thinking about attacking because um, we don't have a lot of action in hand. We literally just have this Wild Earth Walker, which is a 1-3 and this Fine Broker. If he's double killing this, I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, that's so we basically gained this 11 life. I'm easily going to trade here. Because uh, I want to trade here instead of here because... Uh, this is a, I guess they're both wizards, but the Wild Grass Walker could technically block here before it could block. Um, but this instead, we're going to just uh, take two off of our fetch, off our shock land, and then play Fine Broker to get back to the Jade Light Ranger. And then next turn, we can go Wild Grass Walker Jade Light Ranger, which is really strong. Opponent could have some way to interact. Of course, could be a like, Wizard's Lightning, could be a Lightning Strike. Uh, he's just tapping out here, which is crazy. Uh, I guess he probably just could have nothing as well. But yeah, we're definitely just take four. Completely fine. Now I'm willing to say that we're in a pretty safe spot here for this game. So we'll play this walker. Play this jade light ranger. Gain six more life. Explore two. Pretty pretty great. Drew a land and a, a, a land of world. So we've drawn a lot of land this game. It's pretty incredible. Uh, but yeah, we still got the, the W, which is really nice. So it's a really good starting hand against Mono Red. So we are one and zero. That's a great start. I didn't, I didn't expect us to go that, our first game to be that fast though. Usually this, this deck can go pretty grindy if it has the right start against the right deck. But against Wimbo, <laughs> interesting name. Um, we'll keep this hand. It's 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 solid. It's definitely not the best, but we have some interaction. We have a branch walker on two. Possible mirror image branch walker if we really need it. Looks like opponent is red. We probably have a Rakdos deck. I, I looks like maybe play this branch walker. Drew another land. Not the worst. Um, this is only one mana. So in turn four, we on turn five we could go like this guy. Mm, maybe I want to do that. Maybe interesting. Um, here, uh, I think playing this mirror image on this branch walker isn't the worst. This lets us uh, start looking for some more something better here. A chupacabra is definitely where we want to be. Next turn we can do, we can literally just play the swamp and then kill the the field and then turn five hostage taker take this play it which is really nice it's a, it could be it's gonna be a decent blocker for us we'll just pass sure we both go to nineteen 
18. I'm going to use probably some spectacle cards. Maybe like a light up the stage. Maybe a skewer. Light up the stage, yep. Reveals two lanes. Very unlucky for opponent. Yep, skewer. Shock shirt. He's definitely trying to get he's trying to get you can see him trying to get this value out of this um electrostatic field while he can. We're at ten, which is which is relatively low. He's gonna be able to put us to nine. So if he has like three bolt spells in hand, we are dead. Which would be very unfortunate. Which really shows the power of this deck here. Like this electric static field did three damage at that's like basically a bolt, and also protected him from two. I think the best draws for best cards that he, that he could have for us would be maybe another field in hand, maybe yep, maybe, maybe more creatures. Looks like he doesn't have anything interesting. Uh, the one problem with when he trying to take this and cast it is the fact that. Um, I'd have to shock myself. Uh, I really don't think we're in the spot where we need to do that. I think we're just going, we're just going to attack for seven here. And then just cast the hostage taker. This makes him have to bolt here if he wants to get this one more damage in. And then we'll just play this tapped. Sure, lightning strike, yeah. Not good, not good. Pyromancer, we go to three, we go to, two, go to four. Um, Looks like opponents should be just dead here. We could, Pyromancer, we could just kill it. Yeah, we'll just kill this. Let him have a fourth land. I don't think there's anything at instant speed that would be able to do it, kill us here. Yeah, there we go. So we're 2-0 against red decks, which is very interesting. My opponent did get pretty unlucky with the light up the stage, though. But it didn't seem that he had he drew many lands. He did he drew three, maybe four. I guess they do play a very few amount. Dave TP. Um. This hand's interesting. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. Um, the only card we can really cast is a branch walker. Really dependent on getting lands in this hand. Uh, maybe if we had like, if this was maybe if the Plaka worm was a black green land, I'd keep it. But just can't. I don't think I can keep this. Um, this hand's fine. Definitely very. Has a lot of lands in it, so it's not. It doesn't have. You'll definitely put another land on the bottom. Really could. Really, this hand could really use by drawing. Be, it would be really great to draw a J Light Ranger or a Branch Walker. Even like a Land War off this next turn. We're playing against Red again. Very interesting. Um, I guess I'll just play this Brand, uh, this Brand, Wild, Wild, Wild Growth Walker so that it'll take a bolt basically. Which it makes him use his turn too, which is pretty good. I feel like pretty effective for me. And then for, if for some reason he doesn't have one, like he plays a Pyromancer here and I draw a Jade Light Ranger, it's, it'd be insane. Biogenicus, not the worst. Um, I'll attack for one. I'm not going to block this. He's definitely going to be able to pump it to at least a 2-2. Two, two. And then at that point, if he has Shock or any other spell, I'll be able to 3-3 three, and eat it. So just don't think it's worth it there. really wish we drew some type of lower drop here. Like maybe like even a Midnight Reaper would have been fine. Um, there been some. There's been like there's like super good draws we could have, like Jade Light Ranger or a uh, Branch Walker, but uh, we didn't draw those, so can't complain. So next turn we're probably go just gonna play out this uh, Prime Speaker. Prime Speaker is pretty good, pretty decent blocker against most of the creatures, like this two one. Pretty good blocker on this guy. So is the Wild Growth Walker though. If Ben doesn't have a land here, that'd be that'd be pretty nice. Okay. Do another land, which is which is isn't the worst. Um, I'll just pass. 
I don't think I'm gonna be blocky with Vanifier. I think I might, I'll probably, if anything, I'll block here with the Water Growth Walker. But I did get his third land, though. Probably means he has, like, a bunch of action spells in hand, which is not good for me. Looks like he's trying, he's either reading the Vanifier or, like, starting to target it with spells. <sighs> So, if we don't draw anything next turn, anything relevant, probably just gonna play this Biogenic Ooze and maybe sack it. Dealt two to us, very interesting. He's lighting up the stage. Yes, yes. Skewer, skewer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> um. Hmm. So, he could just skewer the here now. Oh, I guess he could just get a double skewer. Uh, having all these spells with these runaway steam cannons is very bad for me. Yeah, he's skewering the walker. Yep, yep, yep. This is very not good for me. <laughs> I'm taking three. So you're probably gonna be taking five as well. If not six plus. Sadly, I don't think I have a six drop. That'd be really, 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 really. So now he's six. We're going to two here. Oh, I guess he. I guess, okay. Yeah, no blocks. We'll just go to four. Does he literally just have two burns? But uh, flame of kill. That's that's pretty good. If we draw a two drop, we can destroy it. Hostage taker. It's very interesting. So we either go get we can either use the five drop to get a six drop here. Let me let me check my list. Five is the best idea. Just to, gotta double check here. It's good to have like when you're playing like these uh Sultai decks, um or these pod decks, it's good to know like what your targets are for in certain situations. Usually it's better to rem remember them, but sometimes you can't remember everything. So, uh, this only gets artifacts and creatures. Um, hmm. Not only a good 5 drops that gain me life. My, my will yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm scared of 3 cards. That would tap me out. Yeah. I have to play this and then exile here. So if I exile here, he, he could just kill it next turn and deal two damage, which would be not good. I guess if I just sack this now, it would, would let him just get it back. Really, isn't a five drop that would be extremely good here, so we're just gonna pass. I mean, this triggers. Hmm. Runaway Steam can that's, that's completely fine. Really, nothing, nothing interesting. Um, at this point, five drops could be good. Uh, we'll get six drops. We could an Izoni. Get Carnage Tyrant. Hmm. What would opponent has in hand? We're just gonna play this Biogenic Ooze and sack it. Or I guess we could play the Steam King and get a three drop. Yeah, that probably seems better. We get this Reclamation Sage, destroy his Flame of Keld, and then we're going to play out the second Prime Speaker. Attacks. Um, the way he played last turn makes me believe that he doesn't have four points of plus of damage in hand because I feel like if he had, he would just kill me when I was tapped out there. So we're trying to play around that by 
Uh, maybe he has like three points, or he was banking on like playing on like haste, haste, haste creature, haste creature. In which case, the flame will do extra additional damage this turn if we had not destroyed it. But now that we uh, have a four drop, it also gives us more options for next turn. We could get maybe a chupacabra, or maybe a fine broker to get back a walker. Say if we draw a jade light ranger, which are there's still three in the deck, and there's also two branch walkers in the deck, so that's five options of which we get some easy life gain. Opponent's thinking a little bit here, so it's obvious that he just doesn't have like instantly lethal. Either that or he's, he's a mean. He's mean. Well, I, I feel like you, I think this is pretty obvious. You try to do this. Uh, well, he really he doesn't have lethal still. That's interesting. <laughs> but he is definitely putting some pressure on us. Sure. We have six mana, so that's quite a bit if we do... Hmm... I guess this is poor... I really don't want to block like this, but I think... Yeah, I guess I can't block like this. Uh, block like this? Yeah. I was really wanting to keep the Reclamation stage alive in case we need to get a Fine Broker, but I don't, I don't think that's just an option. I'm pretty sure that's not an option here. Pretty sad. True, a Fine Broker. That doesn't do a ton here. But it still only seen three lands. Kind of, Kind of low. Um, I think we're just gonna play Fine Broker here. Get back the Walker. Play Walker. Is there a better five drop here? I guess we can just try to get the best five drop for next turn. I guess we'll just attack for two, and then sack this. Right? Yeah, attack for two. And sack it. Really wish Thrag Tusk was in the format, and then we'll get this Underrealm Lich. Underrealm Lich lets us like look at the top three next turn, giving us the best option to find. Um, maybe a Jade Light Ranger, Fanatical Fire Rancher. Deal one, sure. You literally could have just cast that. I don't know why opponent has to be slow with it. It's kind of rude. So we're two and one. We, we had some pretty unfortunate draws there. If we had, if we would have drew, there was definitely a lot of better draws we could have had. We had quite, we had quite a few lands. Opponent only had three. It's pretty sure still. It's extremely low. Um. This hand's fine. It's very slow. There's a lot of shock lanes in it. I think it's mono red again. But this hand's, I, I think it's a little better against mono red. Just a, just a tad bit. That's a really good draw. Uh, we'll play the Overgrown Tomb into Overgrown Tomb. Or Overgrown Tomb into Drown Catacomb. Sure. Well, that's also good. That's a good draw. So we're going to play this out here. He's probably going to have some type of removal spell for it. Be on 3 mana, be on 2 mana. Pretty different. Firebrand? Interesting. Does he just have like a skewer here? Or is he just going to stack one to sh and shock it? Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's basically 2 cards worth of... Um, it's basically two cards worth of damage we, we saved with that. It's pretty favorable, I'd say. Here, um, I'm just going to play Forest, play Jade Light. Jade Light. If Jade Light becomes a four, hopefully we can block. Um, I'm going to put that in the library and then put that in the graveyard. We definitely don't want that in every situation, but I really want this to be a four or three, so he has to use a bolt on it, and then even if he has some type of pump spell, we'll be able to block here. And he, he does have a bolt, which makes sense. 
but now oh, we can take five, go to nine, shot, go to seven, play this, kill this. Can't kill it, but risk factor, really? I will take four. It's interesting. So we're going, we have to go to three to do this now. That's really bad. <laughs> Opponents on two lands. God, of course, opponent can draw a couple more. It's like all the lands they need, but like obviously, like they should draw a couple. Like he also couldn't have been able to cast that if uh, if he didn't have this. It's hilarious. Well, that was a pretty unfortunate one. So we've played against red four times, and it's, we're two and two against it. Not the best. Um, if we were on the play that game, I met, I, I would hope that we would win. Uh, maybe not. He still had the shock and stuff, but not being not having to take four off that. Um, this hand's really slow. Um, I think I'm mulligan it. This hand's fun. This hand's a lot better. We just need to find a green source. Definitely don't want that. Mountain. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, that's a different type of mountain. Uh, can I draw a land, please? Runaway Steam can sure. There we go. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Uh, definitely keeping that on top, even if it's not a land. Just drawing six, gaining six life, and then being have the 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 option to gain um three life next turn is pretty great. We're also going to, going to be attacking due to the fact that um I rather not block, have him be able to pump and then shock it, or block and have him bolt. Chain water, that's fine. Doesn't do a thing. Sure. Um, play this branch walker. Lane would not be the worst here. Um, hostage shaker. I'm put that in the graveyard. Can't sun castable. Mm. Three, four, five, six. Let me, let me kill both these. Mm, no attack. We don't. We, we really just don't need attack here. I feel like we're in a pretty commanding position. Okay, uh, if he attacks with just this, I'll take three. There isn't really a good block around this with this being a four six. Goblin banneret number two. Okay. Opponent's playing a lot more, a lot dead, a lot more dead cards in this. Uh, we'll, we'll shock here, and then Chupacabra the three three. And at that point, we can swing pretty easily with this Jade Light Ranger. We also have this Izoni eventually, which which could be decent. Do not mind if he lightning strikes. Risk factor, I'll take four when I'm at twenty six any day of the week. You gonna trade? Oh, he's just is he casting this again? Sure, I'll take eight. Still at eighteen after taking eight. It's, it's a pretty good feeling. <laughs> pretty good, I have to say. Since like the last two games, so this is the fifth game in a row where we played where we played against Mono Red. That's very interesting. So he's handless now. Uh, I feel like we're in a very good position. Sadly, we don't play anything like a Plague Mare. Why, why would you attack with this? What, what? Is there something I'm not seeing? Okay. Very interesting choice. So, that's a, that's a W. So, we are 3 and 2. Not the best record, but we have played against Mono Red five times. <laughs> Um, I don't know whether that's surprising or because I I don't I didn't play nearly this amount of mono red the previous day. Uh, I'll keep this hand. It's pretty slow, but with the addition of like a Jade Land Ranger or Branch Walker, it's pretty good. It's pretty good against mono red. 
Um, there is a problem though that if we play this Wadgrath Walker and he gets killed instantly, and we are playing against Mono Red, that we won't be able to use this Mirror Image. But uh, Swamp makes me think that we're not playing against Mono Red, so don't have to worry about that. So the second thing would be bad, bad if it was like, maybe it's a little bit late of a Atlanta World, but in the, anyway, it's not really doing a whole lot here. Um, like it wouldn't do a whole lot if I played this on turn one instead of turn two. Like I could play Mirror Image. Moment of craving, that's fine. Um, we have a pretty um, mana heavy hand, as in the sense that we in both that we have a six drop and this needs us to already have stuff on the board. That's kind of bad, but we also and mana heavy in the sense that we already have we already have some lands, so that's good. Play this guy out. This Carnage Tyrant, if it resolves and oh, we can have a decent board state at that point, will be really good. That's very annoying. Vanifier is really interesting here. Um, I hope it survives. Might not. Um, there's a lot of room, there's a lot of spells that the Vanifier plays around. Being the only thing that really kills it is the Veracious Contempt. It would be really bad here if he finds a Chupacabra. It'd be very bad if he found a Chupacabra. But yeah, like I was saying, the Prime Speaker doesn't have a ton of really okay. Doesn't have a ton of ways to get answered in this matchup other than Veros's Contempt. It's not the best, but it works. Uh, I think we're just gonna play this second. Take this branch walker. It looks like. Wait a second here. Two. Yeah. Okay. He didn't. He didn't get that. Wait. There's only one branch walker. How many branch walkers? I know I play two branch walkers. And there's one here. So I, I'm pretty sure the card opponent has is a branch walker. So I'm what, what I'm wanting to think here. We'll see what's on top. Put that in the graveyard. Um, and then we'll play this mirror image. It's kind of aggressive, but I feel like it's not the worst. It would really be really bad is if he plays like a ritual soot. I guess that was kind of aggressive. That was really aggressive on us due to the fact that this carnage, that if we didn't draw land, if the land was on top, we would have to discard this carnage tyrant. That'd be pretty bad. Really, he doesn't want this Jade Light Ranger. Well, I wonder what it is then. Could be a Chupacabra. I'm pretty sure he's a Branch Walker. Hmm. He got, a, he got his own Jade Light Ranger? Interesting. So that's two Jade... He drew two, two, two lands off of it? That's funny. So opponent has three cards in hand, two lands. He's getting to reanimate a card next turn. What's he probably reanimating? It's a good thing to check. Could, uh, nothing too crazy. Probably this Jade Light Ranger, number two. So I can sack these Branch Walkers to get a three drop. Or I can sack Carnage Tyrant to get Plock a Worm. But I feel like Carnage Tyrant's pretty good on this board state. So we can't, we can't, in fact, cast it. We'll pay two life. Just cast that already. Wish we had a three drop on board. Three drop would be very, very, very nice. Due to the fact that, um,. Your drop would be very nice due to be uh due to being able to get either we could get sage here. We could get sage or midnight reaper. I think midnight reaper is pretty good. Sage would let us destroy that so he doesn't get a second jade light ranger. It's pretty solid. But but midnight reaper protects us against like maybe golden demise slash. I guess it's. I guess getting sage here is probably a little better. Could also hit this eldest. Uh, this disinformation campaign, but I don't think that's the biggest of deals. And we'll attack. We'll attack with this. As well. Damn. Maybe I should attack with a three two first. If I knew he was gonna do that, I probably would have got plugcaster. Yeah, I should look through my deck again to see what he what he what he could get here. 
It'd be really annoying if he could, he could get like a, if he play, if he just hard cast a Palaka Worm right now. That'd be that'd be pretty funny. Wow, he, he had the option to get so he got the Chupacabra. That makes sense. Assassin's a trick. That's very good here. Uh, I think I think he has a counter spell here, but I think we need to use this assassin's trophy now. This, this card's really hemorrhaging us. Yeah, it's really annoying too because he gets back the uh, campaign. Now at this point, if he has an elder support, it's probably game. He's gotten so much card advantage off this thief of sanity. That's insane. Yep. Take two, go to ten. Like, how many cards he's out of Jade Light Ranger, a Chupacabra? Um, he still has one card, which I think is a Branch Walker. And then, whatever he's getting now. <laughs> whatever he's getting now must be really good because he skipped an Ooze and skipped a Vanifier. It's interesting. J Light Ranger. Okay. Yep. Syncopate on top. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Elder Support's a lot worse. Sure. Yep. He does have the Branch Walker, which makes sense. We know that information. Plays campaign. Yep. Some good draw here would be like a Chupacabra. Yep. That's game. Well, uh, that's going to be it for this time. I should be back uh, with another round of this deck. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you like the content. Like and subscribe below. Let's we'll see what we get here first. Um, and hopefully I'll be coming out with more videos soon, if not uh, today.